How you doing, sir? Just fine. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Well, you know, I've been running all day, so I finally got back home. So I said, well, just let me jump on the call and let's go on and get started. So good to talk to you. Good to see you. Um, you see today's topic, we're going to talk about repeat, repeat, repeat. And a lot of times people notice that a lot of times in our talks, there's some variations, but we're pretty much saying the same thing. And we want to discuss the importance of repetition. Okay. It's great to me because that's that's what it's all about. You have to repeat it, repeat it, repeat it until you remember it. And 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 actually, what what was it that God left us? A remembrancer, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's what it is, isn't it? Absolutely. So you've been doing this for a while, and you said it didn't always come easy but you said the key to your getting it was repetition was that the case oh yeah look anytime i get a little upset or annoyed at something all i have to do is reach over and punch down on the tape and listen to it five five minutes and then it's all clear again just five, five i may listen to it longer but the first five minutes it's all clear again and, and if you get, get in the habit of doing that, it'll be very, very beneficial, I assure you. So that's it, isn't it? It is. You often talk about tapes and so forth, and you often talk about your four CD set. You said if they get that, everything that they need to know is there. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Because I know that because I experienced it. <laughs> First person. See, this, this, this is not theory or speculation to me. This is first person, present tense experiencing. And it's exactly what you're looking for, whatever you call it. If you call it praying, okay, praying. But you're praying ceaselessly. <laughs> That's the point, isn't it? It is. It is. You said something just now, and I want to go back to it. You said this is not theory. To me, this is firsthand experience. And a lot of communicators, great communicators out there are talking theory, whether it be Neville's theory or someone else's theory, but they're not speaking from firsthand experience. Is that correct? It's correct. Yes, sir. Yes. And and actually, you can spot those who, who do know that they know, not only that they don't know about. You see, that that's the difference that makes a difference knowing about and knowing and and that that's what we're looking for we're looking for people who want to know first person not not just theories or, or speculation because that do, that does not does not repeat well as what you desire oh, but what do you desire do do you know what what you really desire i mean you have a passion for something if you do spark it now the thing is, when we're talking about repetition, people really need to understand the importance. Everything that we learn from childhood to age it comes by way of repetition. If you remembered it the first time, boy, we were... <laughs> and, and that's like, so I gave someone a book and I and I asked her, I, you know, this is several months later, I said, oh, oh. Did you did you read the book? I go, oh yes, she says, yes, I did read it. Once. Once. You know, come on. I I read it a hundred times, and every time I, I've read it, I I get something I didn't have before. You know, that that was what I that's what I learned li listening to Neville was that. Every time I heard a tape, and I already heard it a hundred times, by golly, yeah. well, what it is, is that it touches something there and tr triggers something, in, and you know that you know first, but open it and quicken it. See, that's what, that's that repeat, 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 open it and quicken it, go over it, over it, and over it. Because if you don't, five minutes, it's gone. I mean, if you're, if you're not thinking about it, five minutes is gone, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. You said something. You said, listen, 
you listen to a uh, audio cassette or whatever, you listen to it a hundred times, and each time that you listen to it, you pick up something new. And the funny thing is, what people don't realize is that we're not the same person from moment to moment. We're always expanding. Is that correct? So, well, that's that's hopefully expanding. <laughs> Hey, I talk to people who are in Great Depression. Yeah, you know, and 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 I I feel I feel sorry for them, but but at the same time, it's hard to feel sorry for them when you're telling them, "Hey, it's your own fault. You're doing this to yourself. If you hold a thought for a minute, oh, well, that wouldn't even take a minute. Yeah, thirty seconds, it, it will draw to it like matter, and 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 then you'll be you'll be off on a trip you didn't intend to take <laughs> but, but come on you're in charge take charge why, why not i mean i mean why not take charge you're going to be charged anyway so take charge <laughs> tell them Carlo. absolutely you said something you know you said listen you talk to people and they're in whatever state that they're in and you let them know that it's their fault. Now, none of us wants to hear that it's our fault. Now, of course, we got conditioning, we got programming and things on the without. But once we know better, it's up to us to do better. Yeah, actually, what we do most of the time is that we distract ourselves from what we don't want to do that we know we should. And that's not me telling you what to think. You see, but but that if if you're if you're not even in charge, if you're not disciplined enough to direct your own inner conversations, because that's your life of experiencing. It is, isn't it? It is. It absolutely is. As simple as that may sound, or or as far fetched <laughs> as that may yeah. sound, because some 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 people that sounds far fetched to say that. Your own inner conversations are shaping your world because we've never been told that. Yeah, how come? How come? How is that? Why, why would why would they deny you that? Because then they got you. That's it. That's it. That's absolutely right. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to be liberated. They don't want you to start thinking for yourself because they have you. Think for yourself. There's no need for church. Yeah. And it's the only reason you go to church is to learn to think for yourself. And that's what they're supposed to be telling you. That is exactly what they're supposed to be telling you. Think for yourself. I mean, it, it, you, you, you can listen to people. And, and as long as you're discerning what you're hearing, you see, that would make a difference, but just accept things without discerning it, you see. Um, well, that could be what all the nightmares are about, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. You made me think about the Bereans. You know, it said that the Bereans searched out the word to find out if what they were being told was true. And unfortunately, many teachers are not telling what we're telling at this moment of think for yourself. Matter of fact, they're saying, follow my teaching solely, and if it doesn't align with my teachings, don't listen to it. You know what I'm saying? So most people are not trying to create people of independent thinkers. They're trying to keep people in prison or in bondage to their teachings or to their philosophies or whatever, but they don't want them to think for themselves. That's exactly it. Feed my sheep. Yeah. Don't feed on them. <laughs> yeah. Well, isn't that a difference? It is. That's, that's happening, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of people are eating sheep. <laughs> I mean, come on. Feed my sheep. Don't 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 feed on them. I mean, really. But they are feeding you. But I think it's a kind of like a, a um <laughs> gotta watch what they say. <laughs> a little BS most of the time. Come on. If if they're really on your side, what they want you to do is to be free to think for yourself. Absolutely. If they're not on your side, then they're feeding on you. 
and I, and, I mean, and and yeah, literally, you know, right. <laughs> but that's all it's about, isn't it? It is. It's funny that you say that uh, somebody had reached out to me recently for coaching and he had made the inquiry. He said, well, you know, you guys talk a lot about the Bible and so forth. Uh, is it OK for you to have a Muslim client? And I laughed and I said, absolutely. I said, listen, we use the Bible because that's the book that we've been indoctrinated with. And that's what we know. I said, but if I was Muslim, I would use the Quran. I said I would use whatever book was available to me that would help each person discover God for themselves. Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But you know, but you know, listen, you, you're told to go right, just go in your closet, close the door, and when you're alone, speak to your father. Why not do that? Yeah. I mean, have you really, you know, a lot of people tell me they do that, but then when, after you, you, you listen to them for a few minutes, and no, they don't do that. Yeah. See, they, they see they they are actually lying to themselves. They're not lying to me. They're lying to themselves. If they're saying that they're doing it, and, and may may even believe they are doing it, mm-hmm. but but if but here's the thing: if you if you know it, when it <laughs> that it. Yeah. If you know it, you do it. And if you Absolutely. if you're not doing it, you don't really know it. You know about it. See, a lot of people know about it. I knew about it for years. And then one day, it all came to fruition, you might say, and wow, it was it was mind blowing. But that's what you're looking for. And what you're looking for is looking for you. So if you're off getting even with somebody you see you're doing that to yourself he may not even know you you're mad at him it's true it's true yeah, yeah well that's that's some incidents that happened to me i was kind of niffed off with the guy at the corner there and uh for what it doesn't even, i don't even know to tell you the truth but i just kind of avoided him for a light you know i see but just kind of avoid him because I didn't want a conversation. And then uh, one day I said, no, come on. I walked on there and I knocked on the door and I told him, I said, you know, I said, this is kind of silly. I said, I, I don't even know what it was I was mad about. And he goes, oh, we, we just thought you couldn't see that good. You know something? There's a metaphor in there. When we're mad and when we're angry, we can't see that well. So he was absolutely correct. <laughs> you cut yourself off. You yeah. deny your all denial is self denial. If you're feeling denied, then it's you. Yeah. And it's, and and until you see that, it just goes on and on, and you'll always find something to take the place of that. To keep it going. See, that that's the reason why you want to watch what it is you're saying yeah. and know that what you're saying, because you see, it's creative. <laughs> Come on. It it's creative, all of it. Positive, negative. God made the good and he made the evil. And he gave you choose this day. And it says right there in scripture, I'm not, I'm not, I'm making up anything. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even know how to make up something. <laughs> but I mean, I I, I kind of think that's what he thought. You know, if I take this dummy, he's not going to argue with me <laughs> because he don't know nothing. <laughs> so if I tell it to him a little bit at a time, he might get it that I did. Hallelujah. But you can too. It's yours, the same as smelling. I'm not special in that case. I mean, he God's no respecter of persons, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And I like that you bring that up. That anybody can be used. But you know, you said something, and I want to touch on it briefly. You said, "Listen, you know it, 
if you're doing it. And I know that's difficult for many people, but we truly do what it is that we say that we believe, whatever that is. So we can say one thing, but lifestyle or fruits always is the litmus test of what it is that you believe. The thing of it is, you know, if you're watching your own inner conversations and you know what we're talking about here, you can catch yourself setting yourself up for a problem. I mean, you're not experiencing it right now and it isn't existing right now, but you're thinking about it. So when it shows up, are you going to take, are you going to put it together? That you were thinking ahead like that. That's why you're experiencing it. See, it's up to you. It's up to you to find out what you're doing in self, because that that's your world of experiencing as within, so without. So you can't get away from that. I mean, I mean, you're you're stuck with what you think you are. Is it is it what you're looking for? Is it what you want? Fine expanded but you see if you're thinking negative you're expanding that too see it 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 is it, it's it's, it, it's all you're vulnerable to your next thought think of that <laughs> absolutely <laughs> yeah yeah i know i know it 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 it, it you know Every knee shall bend. Every knee shall bend. Because it's as within, so without. And until you get it, you just stumble around. And I know about stumbling around. I'm, I'm quite a bit of it. Some of it my own fault and some of it... No, it's all my own fault. But, that, <laughs> but that, that's another story. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You you can't get away with laying it on somebody else. You know, you really can't. It, it's going to come home to roost yeah. one way or the other. <laughs> it's it's easy. It's easy to know what to do, really. So if someone tells me, "Well, I don't know what to do next." Yeah, actually, you do. And the only reason you're complaining about it is to convince yourself that you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth, isn't it? It is the we truth. We deny ourselves that way, don't we? We do all the time, all the time. And you're absolutely right. Spirit, consciousness, whatever, has given us something to do. Most of us just won't take action on that thing that we've been called to do. Some people say, well, what is my religion? Your religion's what you're doing. That is your religion. Whatever, whatever you're giving yourself to, that's your religion. And, and you pay the consequences. It's always up to you. You know, I, I I don't know why I don't know why you think someone else has control of your life when you think. It, this is theater of the mind, the mind of imagination. It's all imaginal. Everything here is imaginal out of the mind of man, but it all goes away. So it isn't reality. It's virtual reality, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's not fixed and forever changing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So finally, it finally convinced him of climate change. <laughs> <laughs> I I remember I remember discussing that with uh, with, with uh, my friend the barber, and uh, we were talking about climate change. Then, really, I mean, we weren't calling it climate change, but but that's what it was. I mean, we were talking about what was happening in the rainforest, how that but they're doing all that clearing to, to use it for planting mm -hmm. and, and, and they're just, they're destroying the, they're destroying the earth's weather. And here's the result of it right now. 
But that was 10 years ago. And they've been talking about it all along in, in politics, but they don't, nobody seems to do anything about it. Yeah. That, that's like that swirl out in the ocean there. Mm -hmm. That's as big as Texas, they say, of, of bottles and garbage. and stuff. Nobody wants to be pick up the bill. That's what it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> But you're absolutely correct. We could all pull our resources together and that stuff would be cleaned up probably in a matter of weeks, if not sooner. But you're right. Nobody wants to foot the bill. Well, look, look, they're out there cleaning up our beaches right now. You know, uh, people get, get together and out, they, they, take, they got, had like five miles of beach there that they cleaned up in, in, in just two days. And they got a lot of garbage. Yeah. A lot of junk, man. But but the thing of it is that they just come together and do it. You, we know what to do. Do it. I know they got equipment. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I, even when I when I was in the service, I now what well, was what seventy years ago. Yeah, <laughs> they had equipment then that they could go out and scoop up. Hey, isn't that neat? The way they can drain the oceans. Yeah. Huh. Oh, it is. That was that was fantastic, you know. Being a diver, of course, that that really just they act. It's gone. They drain the oceans. I, I, I technology is really getting getting up there, you know. As a matter of fact, uh, that intelligence, AI, big problem. Well, you know, it's a problem if we say it's a problem, but everything is too how we use it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure they say the same thing about televisions, cars, or whatever was the modern thing of that day. Computers, electric cars, uh, automatic uh, automated cars where they can drive on their own. Yeah. If we don't use them responsibly, and that's anything, yeah. and that's the thing. You know, we talk about weapons or whatever, but if you're not using that tool, whatever that tool is, responsibly, money, if you're not using that tool responsibly, then of course it's a problem. AI, as well as any other artificial intelligence and tool, if you're not being responsible with it, yeah, of course it can be used for harm. We're going to, we're going to have casualties. Oh, absolutely. In, in, anytime you change something, you're going to have casualties. Because in the first place, they're not actually using it wrong. They just don't know how to use it. Yeah. And that causes a lot of problems. But <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's going forward is 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 as difficult as it is going backwards. It's just that you don't suffer it personally so much. <laughs> yeah, all things come to those who wait. They say. Well, you can wait forever, though. You know. Yeah. Like that. You can put it off until later, but then when later comes and says, "Are we ready now?" You're going well, well a little later. <laughs> it's, it's gone. You forgot it. Yeah, and I do a lot of that. <laughs> hey, you know, I mean, there's so so. I mean, you got so much going on in here that that isn't necessary. I mean, you talk about people people hoarding in their houses. Well, what about the people hoarding in their mind? They got so much junk in there that it's it's, un, it's unreal. And, and I can say that because I would spend years getting rid of it because I had it too. We all conditioned to the ongoing drama. I, I mean, people say, "Oh, I think for myself." <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> The fact that she even said it yeah. surprises me. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's there for you because it is yours. Understand? It's yours. It's just the same as it's mine or DiCarlo's or anybody. It, it's yours. You were given choose this day. What, what did he give you when he gave you choose this day? He gave you the power because that's what you're using, the power. 
there's only one because it's it's all God. He's all things to all. So <laughs> come on, that's the power you're using. But let, like Carlos said, using it how? It, well, it, I, I can tell you this: if you're not enjoying life, <laughs> you ain't using it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's simple enough, isn't it? It absolutely is. If you're not enjoying life, enjoyment or happiness is the litmus test. I mean, you you can, you can claim it forever, but but actually, actually, that that that's like I I I tell people about that book that Emmett Fox wrote, "Claim It." That was the title of it, "Claim It," and he's telling you exactly what what you're told from Scripture there. You, you you come up and and when you go to pray, if you're telling them all your problems, you see, that's what you get more of. If you're telling them of your successes and how happy you are, you get more of that. See, because when you get up and leave your prayer session, are you lifted? Really? I mean, wow, I got it. You get what you expect, not what you want. Remember that. That, that that's that's really the, the the change point right there. You get what you expect. So if you're going there not to expect anything, like I said, just stay home. You're going there to be instructed. And that's why you're going to church. You're there to be instruction instructed. You're not going there to join a family, as they say, because you're a part of the whole family. So what is there to join? I mean, why do you need them if he's in you? See, you got to think about these things. That, that, that's that's why I keep telling them, go, go sit in this. I, I know what I'm telling you. I tell you to go sit in the silence and shut up. Because it took me years to do just that. As a matter of fact, they tell you, leave your baggage outside the door and close the door. And even though I did that, it just kind of slithered under the door there and it, it comes back. You got to be disciplined about what you're allowing yourself to entertain as thought. Because that's what you're doing. You're entertaining yourself. But with what? Horror stories? Horror stories? Come on. If that's what you're thinking about all the time, that's what's expanded. You have to try these things for yourself. Well, I don't like the word try because I, I used that for years. Well, I tried. <laughs> I know I really tried, but yeah, we fool ourselves that way. I say fool ourselves rather than tell you you're lying to yourself. But hey, not one is worthy, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Not, not one. So you get to start off on the even scale. <laughs> so, and God is no respecter of persons. So to say you're not worthy, well, it's you saying that. He didn't say that. He didn't, he didn't say you weren't worthy. Sleep, yeah, sleep. That, that's for sure. We're all asleep in varying degrees of intensity and intent. We're all asleep. This is a dream. And, and even if you change menus here, it's still a dream. It's all a dream. There's nothing transforming even in death. You don't get off at all. You're going to do it till you do it right. <laughs> And once you really understand that, well, you start thinking, well, yeah, maybe I get better get started on it. <laughs> that is the problem, starting, isn't it? It really is the problem, getting started. I've had so many people that I work with, and the challenge is getting them to start. 